Okay, today in Gavin's lunchbox, he has some mini muffins, which he's eating. Oh, did you finish your mini muffin? He's eating a mini muffin right now, so that'll be for the rest of his breakfast. And then he has some, looks like Teddy Grahams, some Bayers, and then he has one of these Gerber... Gerber graduate males. So he likes those. So that's what we'll be having for lunch today. So we're on the couch. Gavin climbed up here by himself without my help for the first time today. And I think he does that at home all the time, but he's never been able to do it on our couch. So I think that's, um, that's just interesting. It's another one of those big boy things that, uh, you take for granted. Uh, you just don't realize how quickly it happens. <laughs> Gavin. The kitty cat does not like kids. He doesn't like kids. Be easy. And of course, Guido's here. Guido. Can you say Guido? Are you going to give him a hug? Easy, easy. You can't just put all your weight on him. No. We're going to be easy with the pug. Yeah, the cat won't tolerate much. He keeps easing further and further down the couch. got down because you were practically laying on him. The ugly grows into a so Ashley's been working hard on who knows what. I'm making game pieces out of a sponge. Game pieces out of a sponge and, and Guido's helping. Yeah, these are going to be the pieces. Oh, well that's a good idea. That's actually a good idea. That's actually a good that's idea. That's actually good. And what are the colored popsicle sticks for over there? I have no idea. I thought they were those bendable things, and they were popsicle sticks. Oh, yeah. so you don't know how you So that was an oops. So, well, so they can do something artistic. Well, I might make them reward sticks. We'll see. So you made this game? Yeah, mm -hmm. I made it. And they go on start, and if they... They're going to play this with their parents. And I have dice. They're going to roll a dice and say they move three. So they're going to go one, two, three. And if they can say the letter and the sound it makes, then they get to take another turn. The idea is, is that their parents will never get a turn and that they'll win. But. Yeah. So do mom and dad have to act like they don't know? Mommy, no. I mean. Would this be better for them to play against each other at school? No. There are, these are going home with them in a kit. Oh, well, oh, there's a kit. Okay. What are you doing, Gavin? That's his hiding place. And there he goes. <laughs> Didn't we just see you? Oh, it's okay, honey. You didn't do anything. So this is Mom's hair. Um, I'm going to give her a haircut today. And it's down, this is for the top of, well, that's not useful, is it? This is the top of her shoulder, and this is her hair. So she wants quite a bit taken off, like the last time she got it cut. So we're going to take all that off, give her a couple layers, and just in the very, very front, transition to the bangs, and then cut her bangs. So here's the finished product. It's simple. Um, so I cut her bangs nice and short like she likes. You mean turn around? And then here is the back. So she went from like down here to up here. I think it looks super cute. Well, I wanted to put some layers in, but she wouldn't let me. Well, I can pull it back, and this way I don't have to worry about some being pulled back and some being down. But look at the floor. We used an old um, tablecloth and put it down, but uh, so I thought that was a good idea. But. Gavin just got up from his nap. 
Yes, and he's taken the blanket and hid behind this chair. And he's been uh, doing this every day now. I have no idea why. Uh, why he likes this blanket. What are you doing? Give me the banky. Give me the banky. Give me the banky. Give it to me. I see you. I see you. Crazy kid. So I actually cut my hair yesterday and she cut it shorter than I wanted. I kind of wanted it to be down here and she cut it up here. That's okay. I'm getting used to it. Um, I stared at myself in the mirror last night. Uh, well, I didn't really stare at myself in the mirror. She cut my hair, so I thought, well, it's a good time to shave my legs. I hadn't shaved my legs in a little while, but um, I know, TMI. But um, to be quite honest with you, I'm one of these people, I'm not a hairy person at all. So I can go for a long time without shaving my legs. I, they just they just don't get hairy. I mean, you can see my arms. I just, I just don't have any hair, period. I, my eyebrows are very light. I'm not one of these women who, you know, draw their eyebrows on and, but, and they're not shaved either. I mean, that's, what you see is what you get. That's, that's my eyebrows. So anyway, she cut my hair last night and, um, I shaved my legs and I was going to get her to cut my nails too because she can make my nails look really good she can it's just amazing i've never had a manicure or pedicure or anything like that um but she makes my nails look pretty and feminine and um so i need to get her to do that but um anyway i do a lot around the house so they break off easily uh whenever i do something i try to wear gloves like like yesterday, I spent the day cleaning the bathrooms and stuff like that, and um, I try to wear gloves, but sometimes it's just too much of a pain, so I think Gavin's waiting for me in the kitchen. I was going to show you what the weather's like. It has rained all night long. I was talking to uh, Justin on the, uh, Justin, if you're watching, hi. Um, I was talking to Justin over Facebook and telling him that it, we're supposed to get some snow at, starting at about 7 o'clock tonight. And I asked him what the weather was like where he's at, thinking, oh, it's, you know, it's bad here. No, he told me that they have, they still have like 11 inches on the ground, and they're supposed to get more. And it's like negative 9 degrees or something there. So I can't complain at all, and I kind of feel guilty for complaining because... Poor thing, you know, he's up north having to put up with all this stuff. Um, he's um, in Pennsylvania. So I, I'm so sorry to, to you northerners um, and how terrific you are for being able to tolerate that because I just can't do it. I just, I, I, I just want to stay in and not leave the house at all when it's cold. And so the past couple days, it's been really um, it's been good temperatures. I mean, like up in the fifties. Uh, so it's been really nice. I've left the house. We've gone to Walmart, things like that. Um, but now when it gets cold again, I just, I want to stay in and it's like, it's no fun being out when it's like that. Once I get someplace and get in, I'm fine, but it's just the getting there that, and you get dry skin, and I don't know, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, I was going to show you outside really quick. I'm sure Gavin is hungry and wants to eat, so hold on, I'll show you the rain. So this is what it looks like right now, and uh, it's just raining. It, it started raining last night, and it's rained off and on all day, and it is raining right now. It's just really light, but starting about 7 tonight, like I said, it's supposed to start snowing, so I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to make sure I do an update. Uh, we have Survivor comes on at 8, and then there's a new CSI. It's called CSI Cyber, and it starts at 10. So, um, we do have shows coming on tonight. I'm excited about this new CSI show, even though shows like that give me the creeps. Um, and Ashley's been watching one. It's just terrible. I wish I could remember the name of the one that Ashley's been watching, but I've, she's been, she's had, when I've been on the computer, she's had 
uh, Netflix on the TV in the bedroom, and she, she'll lay in my bed and watch TV while Kevin and I work on the computer. And all you hear is these girls, every episode, there's a teenage girl that gets kidnapped, she's in some horrible place, she's in somebody's closet, she's in the back of a car, different teenage girls, and they just, they sound horrible. This show is just horrible, horrible. I will have to ask her, and I will insert the name of it down below, but it sounds like a very interesting TV show. Then again, I told her, I said, I don't know that I could watch this because I am already funny about, you know, you need to be careful, you need to carry pepper spray, which we, you know, she has pepper spray, um, but you, you can't trust anyone, and, you know, even the nicest people, you know, they'll chop you up, so, um, anyway, I don't think I can watch the show, it sounds neat, but the CSI Cyber, we're going to try it, uh, because I like the CSI shows, They've gotten progressively worse as far as the violence that they show. It amazes me. It's like, mm, this is on TV. But, um, but anyway, I watch it, so I must like it. Um, and you don't like to think that there's real um, freaky people out there like that. But then you go to uh, a newspaper and you see that these people really exist. So anyway, I'm gonna feed this guy. He's bringing me the broom. Are we gonna clean? Yeah. Are we gonna clean? Let me know that I need to clean the house. He loves to clean. I, I don't know. I, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know where this came from. Are you gonna say hi? Are you hungry? Do you want to go eat? Me. Yep. Let's go eat, okay? I'll fix you something to eat. Gavin came over here to see Guido. It reminded me, I was telling Justin yesterday that, um, uh, and uh, Casey too, that uh, Gavin couldn't find Guido anywhere in the house and he started freaking Guido. out. He, Guido! He started almost crying. He was frantic because he couldn't find Guido. Guido! Love on Guido. He loves Guido so much, and he always wants to know where Guido is. Guido wants to be with Guido. Let him sit down in his bed. Gavin, let him lay down in his bed. He wants to lay down. Yeah, now you can love on him. There we go. Yes, love on him. Yeah, he's your good friend. Be nice. Be nice. Can you give him a kiss? No. I'm fixing you something to eat. I'm making you a pancake. I actually made pancakes yesterday. That video will be up. And boy, that spread out. Wow. Good grief. Um, she had the stuff left. The batter because she didn't she made too much and so she put it in the refrigerator and I said well can you keep that and make them again and she said yes so I thought well I'll just make Gavin a pancake we'll see if he likes it so I've never made a pancake before but it didn't look too hard until you could have to flip it over of course she didn't make one um, monster size good grief I didn't know it would spread out that much so Hopefully it turns out okay. Okay, just, I have to show you this. I didn't get it on film because it's just me here. No one to film me. But I just flipped this whole thing over by myself and it worked out perfect. Gavin's mad because he's having to wait. But uh, it should be ready in a minute and we'll see if he eats it or not. Okay. I divided the pancake up. And it, yes, it's hot. It's hot right now. It, it smells like a, a chocolate chip cookie. And that's probably about what it is, honestly. Gavin, look. Eat this. Look. Eat this. Yum, yum. 
Yeah, good. He likes those music box type songs. Your daddy's you want. Your, your daddy was wanting to watch some movie with you, and he said, "I bet Andrew wouldn't want to watch it with me." Like Pinhead or something. Yeah. It's old as hell. I know. He said he didn't think you'd want to watch it with him. It's old, though. you got to understand that the graphics aren't even as good as Saul. Or I know. Like, Ashley I said she didn't want to watch it with him. She just didn't want to. I wouldn't mind watching it with him, honestly. Um, but I don't know. He's got to understand that it's, it's I Oh, he that. knows. He's seen that it's old. He just wants to watch it again with you. So nobody else is home yet. Gavin just left a while ago. Actually, I went uh, to on a hunt uh, with Andrew for a snow shovel because they don't own one and it's getting ready to snow like I told you. And nowhere in town can you get a snow shovel right now. They're just sold out. And um, Andrew said the guy in Tractor Supply told him that it's supposed to be worse this time than it has been. So. Andrew just doesn't have a snow shovel, but he borrowed ours last time. But anyway, I got the mail, and Valerie sent me a card. Thank you very much, Valerie. And then I got a, um, a card. I got a package from American Eagle. Kevin has been needing a uh, pullover hoodie for a while. And so I told him, I said, just wait, because American Eagle's having a sale. They've been sending me uh, emails. I said, I'll get another email. So we ordered him a hoodie, but we also ordered, um, I ordered a, this hat, which I want to show you. I haven't seen it yet. It was $7.20, but it had been $18, but it's a hoodie, I mean, it's a hat, and I figured Gavin could wear it, because it's one size fits all, and he wears Andrew's hat when he gets cold, so it just says snow, but that had been $18, and I got it for $7.20, I think that's pretty good. And it's name brand. It's it's American Eagle. So not that I care about name brands, but I just think that's cool. That um, yeah, that's cute. That's really cute. And Gavin will look cute in that if he needs it. That's one of those extra things that we'll leave here. Um, also in the mail, we got two envelopes that look like this. One is to me, and one is to Kevin. And I thought. What could this be? And then I'm wondering, are these our passports? So, I'm not going to open them yet. I'm going to wait till Kevin gets home because if it is our passports, he'll want, you know, we'll want to get them together because that's really cool. 
So I'm gonna wait for him and then we'll show you what it is later. And if it's not the passports, I'll let you know. But that's, I mean, if it is the passports, then this was a good time of year to get them because we got them really, really, really quick. Uh, coffee's ready, but um, so I will let you know what's in those envelopes. Okay, Kevin does believe that these envelopes have our passports. There's a booklet in, in there, I'm assuming it is. So I'm just gonna, I figured I'd turn on the camera and just open it. <laughs> Your birth certificate should be in there too. No, I guess not. Yay! Okay, here it is. That's not too bad a picture. That is so awesome. I don't, Does it have any, have I don't think up. there's any personal. Maybe the stuff on the bottom. Maybe yeah, the I'll numbers. Cover up the, I don't know if it's personal. We don't know what means something and what doesn't. Cool. There's a number at the top too. I put them on a, a number on the top. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I put the pictures on Facebook when we did it. It hasn't been that long ago, has it? At it all. Like it. No. it really hasn't. So from these are electronic passport pass, passports too. What does that mean? You like you can yeah see the little thing. You can just like tap them to a machine and it scans it or something. I don't know. Oh really? What is all this visas and stuff? What does that mean? That's where you get your stamps and stuff. Oh, that's where they stamp it. Yeah. That means you're okay. Do they do it on a particular page? Does it have to be? I don't know that they just grab a page and do it or what. That is so, so, so cool. So, you know, call us slime, whatever. This is new to us. Everybody else in the family except for Gavin has a passport. They must send your birth certificate back separately in a different envelope. The reason Andrew and Christina have a passport is because they went to the Bahamas. They went on a cruise a couple of years ago to the Bahamas and you had to have a passport. That was before Gavin was born, probably like a year before. And then Ashley has a passport because Ashley's actually been uh, to England. Ashley was there for, she got there like the week of New Year's. And so she actually got to see the, the fireworks and everything. So she's been in the London Eye. She's been to all the places that I want to go. So we actually asked her the other night, actually it was last night, if she would want to go with us when we went again. And she said no. So it's just unbelievable that my own daughter doesn't want, she doesn't share my enthusiasm. So, uh, anyway. It, it says you should enter your emergency contact information. Oh, okay. Well, very exciting. Happy day. So, we'll uh, check in with you later. Bye. I want to show you all this. I came upstairs to look for um, Ashley's passport because we got our passports in the mail and I want to have them all together. And so, I opened up this scrapbook that was hers. And I want to show this to you. I think that is so cute. This was on the... Um, I don't know if it was on the front. I don't think it was on the front page of the paper, but um, it was in the paper, and that was Guido's costume. And you can see Guido could barely breathe in that thing because pugs aren't meant to wear um, costumes like that. I don't know if there's any other pictures of her in here or not. Lots of artwork. But... Uh, Oh, there it is again. Yeah, she <laughs> she drew a lot. So anyway, I'm still trying to find her passport. Here's another time Ashley was in the newspaper, the longest day of play. It was the longest day of summer. And there's Ashley with the hula hoop around her neck. That was the only time she was active during her, no, I'm kidding, just kidding. I'm gonna show you that that picture was indeed on the front cover because here it is, the Winchester Sun. That was Saturday, November 4th, 2006, and there is Miss Ashley on the cover. And here were some other dogs that were in there, but that's cool, I couldn't remember and it's really starting to snow here and school's already been called off for Kevin and Ashley so definitely be in tomorrow it's 11 o'clock now and the snow is still falling 
trying to zoom in on that a little bit. Still coming down pretty heavy. And here's the road. Okay, it's just a little after 11 and I'm up in the office and I figured I would take a quick video of the snow. I posted on um, Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook. I'm sure people are sick to death of seeing snow photos, although I wish that more people would post them from their house and show what it looks like out front of their house because I love looking at pictures of what's going on um, at your house, even if it's not snowing. I just like to see where other people live and what their view is. So this is my view right now. And uh, we'll check again when it uh, when we get up in the morning and see how it looks. And I'll bore you with more snow photos. But as you can see, it's still coming down. I'm trying to get it out the window. So it's still coming down. We're supposed to get a lot more. So we'll just have to check on it later. Okay, Kevin and I just woke up and... Good grief. Plug back in. That is a lot of snow. That's the back porch. We haven't looked out front yet. <laughs> we haven't looked out front yet, so now we're going to go look out front. Okay, so that is quite a bit of snow. And it's uh, way up on the porch, so I'm not even going to step out. The snow's coming down and Chapel thinks that he can play with it. It's driving him crazy. Look out there, Chapel. Look. Look. Oh, what's it doing? Get, can you get it? It's toying with you, isn't it? I actually got up out of bed on this snowy morning and decided, hmm, I'm going to have funnel cake for breakfast. And so this is how it looks. What do you just take it off there and put powdered sugar on it? Mm -hmm. How do you get it? I don't see how you get it out of there. With the, I would have to have a spatula. I like these tongs. They're my favorite. I use them to fry chicken and to fry everything. It seems like that would fall apart like that because there's holes all in it. That's just me, though. I'm glad you like them, though. But you make good fennel cakes. Okay, Kevin gave me the broom, and he has the shovel. We only have one shovel, and we're getting ready to go out front for the first time. And even though it's still snowing, Kevin says that his theory is what? Well, well if it snows three more inches, that's three more. That's three less inches I have to shovel later if I go ahead and do it. So he so thinks. I go back out again. Yeah, maybe the, tomorrow. He thinks you should go out multiple times instead yeah. of one big time. Where am I killing myself once? Can you button that coat? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> I have a hat on. And uh, Kevin Kevin has his hoodie hoodie hat. I get hot after a while, so. I'm waiting for you to open the front door. I'll go ahead and walk out. I want to see. So you want me to shovel off the front yeah, porch? Yeah, but you got to sweep oh, all that off first. Great. You got to sweep the porch off first. Okay. Wow. I want to walk over here and show how the street looks. 
It's so pretty. See, if there were Christmas decorations, then this would look like one of those uh, Thomas Kincaid pictures. I thought about this. This was in a Christmas. Yeah, this would be really pretty at Christmas time with like colored lights and a tree in the window and sleigh rides. But not in March. Not so much in March. Okay, so here is the front of the house and there's snow flying in my face. And this is all that Kevin's done so far. That's the, the driveway. And Guido's in the door waiting for us. Okay, it's almost two o'clock in the afternoon. Kevin spent hours and hours and hours out front. I went out and just cleared the snow off the cars. That's all he wanted me to do. So that's what I did. But uh, the driveway's cleared off and I have to admit, it will make it a lot easier uh, to deal with later, especially like if it freezes or something like that. So um, now the people across the street are out working on theirs. So just glad to have it done. But as you can tell, they, um, no one else has started shoveling yet, but it's it's early on, so it'll probably take a while for other people to start getting out. Okay, the ice took out our uh, gutter up here, and it actually took out, you can see the wood shown there with the flashing that's gotten ripped off. Um, so here's the gutter. I literally broke it in two, so uh, you can see where all just the dirt and cruds running off the roof down there. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it definitely took it out. You can see the downspout. It's still up there, but kind of good shape. Good thing I didn't pull the electric out at the same time when it was falling. So, so anyway, so we've got to call in with the insurance company um, to get it looked at. He's found the only spot of grass that's not covered with snow to use the bathroom in. Hilarious. This is what uh, Guido is having to walk through. This is probably what's in that gutter and caused it to fall. Yeah. All this ice, yeah. Yeah. This is horrible. Can, can he even get down the steps over there? Yeah, he's been down there. Okay. He has a snotty nose. Yeah, he's been out here for a while. Yeah, I think he wants back down. Come on, babe. Come on. That's awful. So Kevin's using a crowbar. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is so deep. That's amazing. Yeah, because you remember the great big icicles that were hanging down from here, and it has to go somewhere. And um, the weather's warming up, and it's supposed to be warm all week. So when Guido comes out here at uh, 5.50 in the morning, um, he slides around, and we definitely don't want him breaking a hip. Are you going to keep doing it? Or? Yeah, my hands are cold. Oh. Is it on the steps too over there? Or is it just that yeah, area? It's just right here only. Okay. So I just had to call the post office because I got my a magazine in the mail and I'll cover up our address. And it is sopping wet. I don't know if you can tell that especially down here on the address part it is it's it's horrible it is the magazine is it's ruined i mean and then another piece of mail that it doesn't mean anything this is just an ad but this is to show you how wet it is it's just it's ridiculous so i called down there and this is the third time i've had to call since we've lived here uh because of the same problem and i literally went down and got it seconds after he put it in the box. And uh, I called down there and he said, the guy that answered said, well, it is, it is pouring rain, 
Well, this is the third time I've had to call and you told me that if I got upset and you know that I needed to call or they couldn't do anything about it. I said, so I'm calling you so that you can do something about it. So anyway, aggravating. I'm just letting you know. But I got something exciting in the mail. It's a package and I can't show you the package at all because it has my address and his address. This is something from Eric. It's from Eric in Texas. Oh my gosh. Yeah. These are the peanuts he's been telling me about. A peanut patty. Yeah, and I've never had one of these. And a pie. Oh, wow. Oh, it's a chocolate. No, I'm sorry. It's a coconut. Coconut pecan pie. Now, what I'm wondering is, it's made in Shul Shulensburg. I hope I'm saying that right. Shulensburg, Texas. It, it's Oma's Choice. Now, I'm wondering, is it supposed to be half and half, like half coconut, half pecan? Or did the pecan slide over in the mail? I don't know. But uh, Kevin and I will be opening this very soon. Maybe when he comes home today, we'll have to try it. And this, I'm so excited. And this is made, it's manufactured by Good Art Candy in Lubbock, Texas. Oh, and this has calories. <laughs> you know I gotta like it the calories. One patty is 280 calories. That just means it's really, really good. But it's not something that, I don't know, if you ate it like a candy bar, you would probably eat the whole thing. But when Kevin and I do a taste test, of course, we'll break it up for the video and then we'll eat the rest later. So it will all get eaten. But thank you very much, Eric. I just wanted to uh, show you that your package arrived and I appreciate it. And we will definitely be doing a review on these very soon. So thank you.